we know we caught the guy with 10 dead bodies in his basement, but he won't talk and so, or basically he was hit by a car, let's say he's brain damaged, so we know he did it, but if we go to the you know prosecutors and stuff and try to get exactly how he did it, we'll never win the case. We just have to show that this is the main suspect, that's our job. Uh, the public is here to decide what to do about this, but hands down, 9-11 was carried out by the New World Order People want to say it's our government, so then it's projected on firefighters and cops and military who are compartmentalized. No, the globalists that have taken over our government, they worked with foreign Islamists, as they always do, look at today, to carry this out, and we need to demand the 28 pages be released. God bless you. I appreciate uh, your call. I'm going to continue with these callers on NATO and on Islamic takeover and other stuff, but our guest has got to leave real quick, so let's go to Sam real fast. And then James, the last caller is for James Wesley Rawls. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Hey, guys. Thanks uh, for taking my call. Uh, I just want to reiterate something, I guess, more of a comment than anything else. But, uh, you know, you always respected Muslims, Alex. Uh, you know, I got to give you credit for that. But just so kind of the general audience realizes that we don't want to emphasize that, you know, this is a war against Islam. Especially, we don't want it to be a Christian versus Islam thing. And, and I hate that because a lot of times I see people kind of making it into that. Because you know that people in the area, they've suffered a lot uh, in the Middle East. Yes, the know, globalists want to kill and enslave everybody. They have gone in and put the radicals in charge. They have killed a lot of good Muslims. There are good Muslims, in my experience. And I think it's terrible it's happening. But now the West is being targeted. So just like I was against the Iraq war... And, and attacking Syria, I'm now against this globalist destabilization, now using the radical Islamists they're bringing in. Thank you for the call. I want to get a final comment on that from James Wesley Rawls. Sure. Um, I, the Islamic threat is genuine. It has, in part, been manufactured. But the thing that we need to keep in mind is that the, the war on Christendom will continue. There's going to be huge numbers of Christian refugees in the, in the coming decades. And I believe that there is actually a need for a new homeland nation for persecuted Christian and Messianic Jewish refugees who are going to be pushed out of countries in huge numbers in the years to come. And that's why I decided to uh, write my Counter-Caliphate Chronicles series. Uh, that first novel, called Land of Promise, describes the establishment of a Christian homeland nation. And uh, I also made it uh, fictionally a Christian libertarian nation to illustrate a lot of other points. But I do think that that is needed. And we need to pray that God would provide a safe haven for persecuted Christians all over the world. It's going to be needed, desperately needed in the years to come. Powerful points, survivalblog.com. Can't wait to have you on when the new novel comes out. James Wesley Rawls, thank you so much. Thank you for having me on, Alex. You bet. He's going to be hosting for two hours coming up. Some stations don't carry the fourth hour. A lot of them do now, and it'll be into the fifth hour today. And then I'm welcoming him. I'll get him a hotel week Saturday night to, to pop in on some of the other shows. He comes up from South Texas. He's Dr. Edward Group. We're going to break here in just a few minutes, but you talked about it here six months ago. Our other guests talked about it. The impending, not even a feeling of doom, but concern, get out there, get involved. They're getting ready to drop the hammer. You can now see the beginning of worldwide destabilization. It's now ready for, for them to bring in their whole world government. We're now ready to launch in their face because of the metaphysical rule for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction or equal opposite reaction. We're at that point of world government. Now's the time for people to spread the word that there are people awake, there are people involved, there are people that know what's happening. I want to salute our listeners and supporters. We're trying to raise a million dollars today. Sounds like a big number, not a big number for media. You're going to be talking about a lot of stuff in the next two hours. What are some of the things you're going to be covering, Dr. Group? Well, we're going to be covering uh, worldwide events that are currently happening right now. We're going to be taking calls, answering health questions. That always seems to be a really good segment that people love and enjoy covering different things people can do to possibly prepare their family prepare themselves health wise not only health wise but what to do in an emergency situation we're just going to be covering a whole lot of different topics some of the things that are going on right now around the world like the typhoons the dust storms in the middle east the soccer ball size hail i mean we're seeing a lot of geoengineering things happening and what we're going to do is we're going to cover a lot of solutions and a lot of positive news, too. Absolutely.
Uh, well, I mean, I mean the point you make, though, is they've gone from testing all these artificial systems, social engineering, open borders, bioweapons, forced inoculations, immigrant flows, proxy wars, to now you can see they're going operational at every point. Do you agree that it looks like they've actually decided to launch the beginning of what becomes World War III? I mean, why do you think in closing of, of this hour people have such a feeling in their gut? Everybody, even people that aren't it's, Christians, atheists, whatever, everybody's upset. Right. It's it, one of the things I just found out. My kid's school has been initiating emergency preparedness stuff lately. And I've got emergency alerts on my phone and through email. And I started looking around and finding out that all across the United States, schools are being forced to issue these emergency alerts and containment policies and all these weird things by September 18th. I think it's just, it's spreading. It's everywhere. People are talking about it. They're feeling it. And there's just an uneasiness, uneasiness that I think, I've never been in my life in a situation that I felt so much uneasiness, but almost at the same time, there's a calmness to it. You know, I kind well, of- it, Well, exactly. It's like almost as it gets closer, it goes from being upset to being calm. You're ready for the fight. There's no more games. Now you're in the ring. Now the fists are flying. We'll be back with the fourth hour, infowars.com forward slash show to find the free feeds. Send it out to friends and family now. We'll be back.